Some pretty good news from the world of nuclear in the past weeks. First, the US Senate passed the Nuclear Energy Innovation Capabilities and the Advanced Nuclear Energy Technologies Act. Both acts are there to ensure that private companies are encouraged to work together with national laboratories to develop and test new small modular reactor concepts. The good thing here is that this will open up more practical routes for small modular reactor design. Finally, this shows us that the US is warming up to the idea of transcending into a new age of nuclear energy. In the end, if done well, this will enhance our energy generation capabilities. These acts are aimed at having test reactors up and running by 2028. Personally, I believe that companies like Terrestrial Energy and Thorcom Power will have one running a few years earlier. In fact, Terrestrial Energy and the Canadian government are already looking for a site to build the prototype of the IMSR. Next, MIT is doing another throw at fusion research with a smaller tokamak which incorporates new superconductors and a heat transfer and cooling blanket of molten salt which is also there to breed tritium which will then be fused with deuterium in the tokamak to create energy. Suffice to say there are a lot of ifs and buts here but I'd like to see what they will come up with nonetheless. Remember, even failures yield knowledge. The working prototype is expected to be up and running in 2033. Third, Rolls-Royce has signed a deal with EDF to supply the heat exchangers for Hinkley C, which will be home to two European pressurized water reactors, which are long overdue but will become operational by 2025 if all goes well, supplying roughly 7% of the UK's electricity demand. Once these reactors are built and have come online, I hope the scourge that has haunted DPR will be driven out and a couple more units will be built in Europe and elsewhere. Finally, the Dutch patent reactor has been producing medical isotopes, mainly for cancer treatment, for roughly two-thirds of Europe. But it has been scheduled to close by 2025. A new reactor has been proposed, which is called PALOS. Recently, local politicians have been debating whether to allow the construction of the reactor. Some renewable-flavored party contested the idea that a medical reactor would be required to be built in order to save cancer patients. Suffice to say, they were alone, and the council voted in favor of the construction, which is a direct result of a grand total of 40 million euros of investment in the new reactor. I wanted to show you that it's not all doom and gloom in the world of civilian nuclear reactors. A lot of good stuff is going on, in fact, only good stuff is going on. We're really pushing the needle forward, but not nearly hard enough. There's still a lot of work left to do, so let's get to it. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.